And off we go from Las Vegas. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The Raiders hit nine and four now on the year. And they have certainly got it rolling as of late. Winners of six in a row. And I think this is where, as a head coach, you show your team some trust. Instead of just talking about winning, you know, the very next game, you point out to them, we're on a nice run here. And if we keep doing this, we'll be playing at home in the postseason. And we know that that could ride us all the way to the Super Bowl if we get that done. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 20-yard line. That's a pick up of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Lawrence Guy, credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. On play action, it's Carr. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Kind of get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tough rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Pats are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Remember, Charles, this is the number one defense in the NFL, and they proved their medal here, forcing the turnover on the opening possession. And sometimes when you play a team that has that reputation, it's earned it by their play. The psychology is, okay, they're number one. They have to prove it to us, and they tried to attack. They found out that that ranking was real. And if history is any indication, when this defense gets off to a good start, look out. Yeah, their offense plays off of them awfully well, too. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. 
So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Harris going to get it again on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched it more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and it's taken care of. Pressure comes, and down goes Baker Mayfield. Max Crosby racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. Mayfield knocks this forward. It's a jet sweep. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose the whole touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. A dime look defensively for the Raiders on third down. Yeah, you're right. Two extra DBs out there to throw Mayfield. And the Raiders have got him. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. Jake Bailey on down to punt here on fourth down. He gets us away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed them up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and have to run out in the field and try to put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead the point. Excellent job by them defensively. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak is definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Again, it's Harris on second down. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. It's brought in by Harris. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. We're scoreless after one. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now a give running left is Harris. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up the first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Now a first down carry for Harris. And they'll be driven back here, losing.
losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Tackling's obviously critical down near the goal line. That was great work there to make the hit behind the line and make sure he doesn't get any further. Did a really nice job wrapping up and not letting him loose. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll take this one down inside the five to the three. It's about a three-yard pick up there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the Patriots jump out to a 3 nothing lead. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. Who with a juke. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pick up there in the drive, starting very nicely. First down. He used to work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good game right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 45 on second down, Carr. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now Carr. Looking deep for Adams. That's caught inside the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devontae Adams. His 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And that makes it a 7 3 lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And nowhere to go. He only makes it to the five. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. The Pats at the line, ready to go. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. Powers through it. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense put pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. 
What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. Here's Jake Bailey now. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. That's pulled in at the 32. And he goes out right around the 39. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Renfro. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. throw he finds his man complete that's Jacobs certainly not what they wanted there no gain and it's fourth down here's AJ Cole now to punt this one away he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away and the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The pats at the line, ready to go. Well, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mayfield to throw it. Setting up the screen, Harris. And some room to work. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to pull them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching Phil, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it. A rifle's run, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Hartman, and the Raiders are in great shape here. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Have a good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket. No reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. Yeah, he did. 
He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. How about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left side, Ryan, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Second and goal from the six this time. Here's Carr. Touchdown! Josh Jacobs as the first half is winding down. And the Raiders will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Carlson up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line, it's a sack. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. The opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mayfield now. Got a man, it's Tyquan Thornton. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a nicely run slant route. What the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. 
And he will have a Patriots first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Meanwhile, Mayfield so taken in by Thornton. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 54 yards rushing for him with the ball game now on 14 carries. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now here's another carry for Harris. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. running straight ahead. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are season in December, of giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Here's Mayfield. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. On second down, this is Harris. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. They'll 
keep it on the ground. Harris again. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. That kick, by the way, Charles, a career long. Well, we did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance, so not a surprise. But there's still something exciting about it, carrying it over from practice and pregame to actually doing it in live action. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, that's your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll get to the 29-yard line block down there. Only a gain of the yard, but that's all they needed. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork. And they add a little, little bit of power. And you find a way to pick up first downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jacobs going to try the middle. He finds some open field here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 14 yards is the pickup there in a Raider first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. 
Meanwhile, car is slow, complete here to Waller. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, to watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Throwing his car on third down. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's on the You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They run again with Harris. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. So give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On the give, this is Harris. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a bandit. Third and one, gut check time on both sides. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. 99 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. They hand this off to Harris. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. You know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. 
A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. This is Harris. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And if you're thinking field goal from here, it's 48 yards. I think they'd like to get him a little help now on third down to move it closer. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They run with Harris. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. Call it no game that time. And they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we do, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Right, they'll be going for six. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get to midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now Carr, forced out to his left. Pass complete, it's Adams. And he's going to pick up a first down here as that clock continues to run. Well, the tickets into the final. 